Good morning, everyone. Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. Hey, got a new bike we're going to take out today. Not doing a range review or anything. It's more of a um, test ride. So, yeah, this was sent in yesterday. I was supposed to get a trike from Buzz, but they sent the right, wrong bike to me. But I emailed the guy back, and he told me to go ahead and keep this one, and they're still going to send me the trike. So, yeah, I really appreciate that out of um, Buzz to do that. But anyway, it's a 20-inch uh, by 4-inch fat tire bike. It looks like the Cyrusher Komoda. And actually, the Cyrusher Komoda battery fits in this down tube because they're both 48-volt bat uh, batteries, so I'm happy about that. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what we're doing, and I will see you on the trail. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan with um, Senior E-Bike Nation. We're out riding the uh, Buzz Centris. It's a bike I just got in yesterday. It is a 20-inch by 4-inch step-through fat tire bike. I'm not really doing a review today as much as I'm doing a uh, just a test ride probably for 16, 18 miles. See how the bike handles and I can go from there. But um, yeah, what was interesting, the battery on this thing is the same exact battery that the Cy Rusher Komoda takes. So I just took my fully charged battery, my Cy Rusher Komoda battery, and put it in the down tube, and it fits perfectly. So um, I'm happy about that. Now I'm riding in pedal assist two right now, which is right around 12 mile an hour. I'll stay in this for a little bit, then I'll bump it up to three. But I really wanted to get a feel of the bike, how it does. So yeah, I... Uh, It was really easy to assemble yesterday. When it came in the uh, carton from FedEx, it was in a smaller box. So actually, let me back up on the story a little bit. Buzz was supposed to send me a trike. To review so they finally got it out and when I got it yesterday I was looking at this box the FedEx guy was taking off the uh, truck and I'm thinking there is no way that's a trike it would not fit in a bike like in a uh, box like that so I uh, went ahead and accepted the order and opened it up and all I had to do to ride this thing was put the handlebars on. That was it. The seat was already on the bike. Everything else was already on the bike and ready to go. The only thing I had to do is uh, I couldn't even get the display to come on because the battery was completely dead. So I've got it charging now. And then I uh, put the um, Cyrusher Komoda battery in here. And again, it works perfectly. But yeah, the assembly on this thing was extremely easy. Probably the easiest assembly I've had other than the electric bike company. All I had to do was turn the handlebars around on that one, tighten them down, and I took off. This one was just about as simple to uh, put on.
So that was a win for that. So I decided, you know, I'm just going to get out and uh, run this thing a little bit. See what it'll do. Now, there's a downside to this bike that I do not like. I can tell right away. The throttle does not engage until you start pedaling. And that is a huge disadvantage when you are, like I was back there from a complete stop, I had to really push the pedals to get this thing going and pedal assist before the uh, I could in I could engage the throttle. So again, that's the downside of this bike. And from a standpoint of um, older people. Getting started with pedals sometimes takes a little bit, and if you're sitting out in an intersection with traffic, you gotta be really careful. Talking about putting your head on a swivel, you better be looking at situation awareness for sure. So that was the only thing I didn't like so far. Now the bike does not have the best components on it either. Um, it, it's got mechanical disc brakes, which are there, these are actually pretty good on this bike. I'm happy with that because it's got really good stopping, even with mechanical brakes. So, um, other than that, it's only got a 500 watt rear hub motor made by a company I'd never heard of. Vinco, V-I-N-K-O, was the uh, manufacturer of the motor. Now, how it compares up against a Bafang or a Bosch, which we know Bosch is your top of the line, I don't know yet. It's got a uh, 48 volt, 10.4 amp hour battery. Now the battery I have in the bike right now is my Cyrusher 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. So I don't think a few extra amps is gonna make a difference on overheating the controller or anything like that, so. But yeah, I'm cruising along in pedal assist uh, three right now at 20 mile an hour and I'm putting hardly no effort into the bike at all. Now this bike only sits about 18 inches off the ground on the step through area and that's exactly what the Komoda does. It's about 18 inches as well. So for somebody with uh, lifting their legs having problem with that, this is gonna be an easy bike for you to get on. For a mat aspect, this is a really good step through model. And what was really interesting on this bike, as the manufacturer that I was looking up where they were located for Buzz, is owned by United Wheels, which also purchased Huffy Corporation, which I know you've heard of Huffy Bikes, I used to ride them back in the 50s. So they, uh, United Wheels bought Huffy and a few other bike company or bike manufacturers. And uh, Huffy was right down here in uh, Dayton, Ohio, my hometown. So we actually have an e-bike manufacturer local, which really surprised me. But they did ship this out of California, so I am assuming that, and what I read on their literature, that this bike is manufactured in the USA. Now, I don't know how much of that is true, 
Uh, but I'm sure all the components are coming from overseas, kind of like the electric bike company. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to pull off up here and drop a couple things off, a couple of canned goods and some um, ramen noodles to the food box here. A few more things in here today than there were uh, yesterday or the day before when I was out riding. I didn't ride yesterday because I had to wait on a delivery from 9.50 to 1.50 and guess what time he showed up? 1.50. So anyway, I had to wait on him to deliver. For I guess, so I couldn't ride yesterday, so I'm going to get out today and ride. Um, again, we're at the food blessing box, and I'm going to put in a can of green beans and another ramen noodle. Looks like uh, two of them are still in here from yesterday on the ramen noodles I put in here, so we'll put a third one in there. And uh, we'll also put uh, some can of green beans in here with the rest of the green beans at the bottom. Somebody's got a bag of crackers up there. That's cool. A couple cans of pinto beans, a lot of vegetables, spaghetti, sauce, um, spaghetti with it. And uh, also some mac and cheese. Pretty cool. And again, a little free pantry. Take what you need, donate what you can, feed the creek. Again, folks, if you're new to my channel, this is my uh one of my things i do on my bike ministry because i'm right on the trail and as you can see there's a parking lot right here where people don't have to ride their bike to um get to this food blessing box they can just pull up and do it discreetly where they don't feel embarrassed that they're picking up food uh pull off a second here i'm gonna have to uh button down my bag up here so it don't go flying off the bike here at 20 mile an hour so bear with me just a second I always tend to forget that when I get back on my bike so today I remembered so yeah well it looks like my uh, strap has already come off I don't know if I, I don't think it's back at the blessing box, but I may pick it up, find it on the trail when I get back. But this should sit in the um, carrier okay. These things happen. So, anyway, let's get back on the bike and uh, let's ride. Again, I'm in pedal assist three, and uh, it was doing uh, 18, 20 mile an hour pretty easily. This bike is restricted on throttle and pedal assist at 20 mile an hour. So that is the fastest this bike will go. It's got a very quiet motor on it. It does have uh, front suspension. It does not have rear suspension. But the front suspension is an absolute plus of the bike. It came with that little basket on it, as you see on the bike. Um, so you can carry something like your lunch or whatever in there. But I believe on the weight limit on uh, cargo, you can only carry like 10 pounds for the front rack and 10 pounds on the back. I think that's what I read. But as far as comfort, yeah, it's a really comfortable bike. The motor's very quiet. I hear the tires more than I hear the motor. Yeah, intersections like this is what you got to really watch because the pedal assist does not take off. Not until you start pedaling. So as you can see, I am having to start pedal before I can even touch the throttle to really get me across the intersection. So to me, from a bike reviewer, influencer whatever you want to call us that's a big negative not to have a throttle 
to engage as soon as you get uh, come from a stop and release the pedal, release the brake levels. I would like to see Buzz change that on these bikes. Now we got a little cheesy bell here I'll use. I'll show you what it sounds like. I think her ears were plugged in. I'm not sure she hold, heard me anyway. And I'm in pedal assist too right now and I feel like I'm ghost pedaling. So I may have to change some of the pedal assist level settings. I believe pedal assist two may be too high as far as the speed where it kicks in. So yeah, there's a couple things I've got to do here. And that's why I did not want to do a range review on this yet or anything of that nature. Because we're going to have to do a little bit of tweaking on a couple things. Before I can really give it a fair views or a fair assessment of the uh, bike itself. I need to make sure I got it uh, tuned in to where I'm giving the company the best benefit of the doubt. Got some joggers out here this morning. Kind of a cool day today. It's supposed to get to about 88, so it's probably close to 80 degrees right now. Beautiful day to ride, little breeze. I like the control of the display because you can uh, see what voltage you're at and usually about 52 to 53 something is a pretty much full charge battery on a 48 volt and i'm showing around 51 volts right now so that's about right for a full charge battery So it's got a couple settings in there I like, I can uh, watch. Normally on a 48 volt battery, and this seems to be like on most bikes, on a 48 volt battery, usually around um, 53 to 54 seems to be the uh, fully charged uh, battery as far as volts. And when you get down to about 39 to 41 volts, you're pretty much completely drained that battery. I have noticed that on, uh, on these batteries. But yeah, it's very smooth. As I mentioned, we'll go up to the bridge and back. That's about eight miles one way. So we'll get up a good 16 miles on a little test ride here. And I'll stay in pedal assist too, probably. Uh, that'll conserve some battery, but like I said, I feel like I'm ghost riding and I'm doing almost 20 mile an hour right now in pedal assist too. So I'm gonna tweak those a little bit. Get out the user manual and see what those settings should be or maybe contact Buzz support and figure that out. And the, um, the bike itself, 
I think comes in two different colors, black and white, like a off-white, shall I say. Yeah, here's where I really hate to come to a complete stop because I've got to really uh, pedal again to get this thing going again, but I want to obey all the traffic laws and stop as much as I can at these uh, stop signs. I'm gonna drop it down to pedal assist one and I did feel the speed come down on the bike, so. Yeah, we dropped down to about 16 mile an hour in pedal assist one. And that is even still a little bit high. So um, for that speed, so I'm gonna go back up to pedal assist two. Once I get to the halfway point, I may have to bring this seat up just a little bit. I got a little bit low. I'd like to see my legs extended more on the downstroke because you really want on your knees, you just want your knees barely bent on the lowest of your pedal downstroke. You don't want a big bend in your knees because that's gonna put pressure on your knees and your hips. Um, so, Pay attention to that when you're uh, adjusting these seats. Now, with that said, the handlebars are really short, as you can see. And the, if you put the seat all the way down on this bike and drop the handlebar stem all the way to the bottom, for somebody 5'5 five, five or 5'6, five, that still may be, them handlebars still may be a little too high for you. So I wanted to point that out for somebody really short if they decide to buy this bike. Now I'm not telling you not to buy it because they say between 5'6 six and 6'5 six on this bike, but I'm not too sure what to think of that because I know if I'm almost six feet and if it's 5'6, these handlebars are going to be awful high. We've come about 5.4 miles now and everything seems to be running very smooth. Again, I'm doing right around 18 mile an hour on this bike, so it's a little bit different. That guy I just passed back there shakes his head sideways every time I ride by him. I don't know if he just doesn't like me or he just don't like e-bikes. I didn't think he recognized that it was me because I'm usually riding my Cyrus or Komoda or my Ovia or my um, Zoda Zephyr, which are all 20 inch bikes, fat tires. And I think he's used to those bikes. I see him out here on the trail all the time. But he's always shaking his head back and forth when he sees me or an e-bike. I don't know which he don't like. And there again, that's uh, why we really got to pay attention to all these traffic laws the best we can. If you're going to go some by, by somebody on the bike trail, always ring a bell, holler on your left, on your right, whatever. Always use your hand signals if you're going to turn, like when you're out on the road. And again, I wear my uh, Neato helmet, which I pointed out is got lights flashing in the back and it's got a bright light in the front.
If you haven't seen by now, I, I love to wear all black shirts. That's just one of those things I like wearing. Sometimes if I'm riding in the evening or night, I will wear my yellow construction vest that I bought. So people can see me with that reflective material on. If you're going to ride at night, you're going to want to make sure that you are noticed. The more lights and bells and whistles you have on the bike, the better. But the cockpit on this one is very simple. They got a reflector right here. I'm not too fond of that. I don't know why it's on there, to be honest with you. It's got a decent headlight. I did um, check it out last night. It's got a very good headlight on it for stock headlight. But I'll probably go ahead and purchase the Karuna um, headlamp that's 2600 lumens. And I'll tell you, that thing is brighter than car lights, I think. And I'm going to put that on this bike as well. I need to get a uh, mirror ordered. I'll probably order... I actually got a set of mirrors that uh, Richard for Me Bike Reviews and Adventures down in Florida recommended. So I went to his uh, channel and I ordered it off his channel uh, because I really like those bar-end mirrors that um, he had on his bike. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on this bike probably. Yeah, we're coming up on about six and a half miles right here. But as you can hear, you can't hear these brakes at all squealing. And that's pretty good for mechanical brakes. But there again, I've got to start pedaling before I can get this thing to go. I really wish they had the throttle regulated for that controller to where as soon as you let loose of those brake levers, that the throttle would engage. Now I'm not so worried about the 500 watt hub motor versus the 750. I'd rather see a 750 on a bike. Now the price point on this bike, I have to look again for sure, but I think it's $1,199 plus tax, which is on the lower end of an e-bike. But you know, if you don't have a lot of disposable income and you really want an e-bike, this thing hits the mark for you, for sure. Yeah, I'm applying the brakes and you really can hear them. Yeah, I'm using throttle only now. See what it does. Throttle only gets you up to about 20.2 mile an hour, and that's where it's regulated to go. So that's what you're going to get with throttle only. After you get pedaling, that is. Yeah, we have to take uh, one of our cats. We have, we have four inside cats. We have a herd. Uh, we we got our female that's uh, probably almost 13 years old now. We got it. She's been diabetic, and I've been giving her shots now twice a day, almost for a year. And um, she started losing a lot of weight. She went from like uh, or about three pounds. She went from about 12 pounds to nine pounds really quick. So we took her to the vet and had some blood work done and a couple weeks ago and they couldn't find anything in her kidneys or nothing in her esophagus and all that. So that's the two things they look for on the blood work. Everything was fine with that. The blood counts come back good. 
So she told us, uh, he just told us, he's a he, uh, the vet told us to take her back home and her diet's not been the greatest lately, but, uh, and she's been throwing up a lot after she uh, eats too. So there's something going on intestinally, uh, maybe stomach issues or whatever. And so we got to get her back at the vet at three o'clock today because she's not eating. We had to take a syringe to uh, force a little bit of water down her to keep her hydrated. So the poor thing just kind of sits around, hunches up and uh, you know, cats not gonna tell you when they got pain or a dog, they don't tell you when they got pain unless you see something obvious like hip dysplasia or something like that on a dog. So please keep little Ginger in your prayers. I'm hoping we don't hear the worst that we, you know, if they have to run more tests and find out she's got cancer issues or whatever, I'm not ready to hear that, but you know, you gotta give them up sooner or later. So we gotta get her at the vet today to see what's going on and I'm just not hope, hoping he doesn't tell us just to go ahead and put her down, that's gonna be hard to do. But we don't want her suffering either. It's the only female cat I have. But you're never really ready to give up an animal. They're like your family. They are your family. Now getting back to the bike, um, it's got folding plastic pedals. I'm not fine, fond of the pedals at all. I'll probably go ahead and replace these pedals. Get some metal pedals put on it. That's if I decide to keep the bike. I'm going to review it. As I mentioned for my uh, companies at least 20 to 25 times I want to do a review. So I'm going to keep it long enough to review the bike for sure. But I might wind up selling it, I don't know yet. It'd be a good little starter e-bike for somebody, that's for sure. We're about to come up on our halfway point up here. So as I cross the river here, we'll be at the bridge here. Battery's doing really well. We only come down to 50 volts so far. And we've come uh, 8.1 miles, so that's pretty good. See how I pull off over here. Get off the bike and we'll talk about it a little bit. Somebody must have left a cloth here. That was here a couple days ago as well and time before. I don't know what that is. Somebody might, fell off their bike or whatever. Anyway, let me hop off my bike here. And then I'll show you the bike here and we'll go over a couple of the things again here. Let me get my coffee out of here. River's pretty calm today, as you can see. Pretty still. Again, this used to be an old rail trail. You can see the uh, metal down under there where the old um, tracks used to be. Of course, they just put a bridge pavement right over top of that. Nice little area, got some scenic trails down through here you can walk. I have not discovered any of those yet, but since I'm mainly doing e-bike reviews. But yeah, again, let's talk about this. This is the, again, the Buzz 20 by four inch fat tire bike. Um, again, love the little emblem here. And it looks just like a bee, the color, so that's pretty cool. Now, the only thing I don't like, they have to, they put electric assist on here. That doesn't need to be on there. Anybody that owns an e-bike or gonna ride an e-bike know it's an electric assist. I think that takes away from the looks of the bike. And of course, the bike name down here, Centris, that's okay to have that, but I don't like to see the electric assist. That just, that's not needed. And then all this stuff with these little stickers and stuff. I mean, this is some of the protection that they do as far as it's a class two e-bike as it says here. And that's because it's got a throttle. 
and pedal assist, so that makes it a class two. And uh, yeah, again, the uh, hub motor is only a 500 watt hub motor called a Vinca, V-I-N-K-A. And then um, I'm not even sure these 160 millimeter um, rotors, disc rotors, they may be, but they look a little smaller than 160 to me. I'll have to check on in on that. And then again, it's got a 48 volt, 10.6 amp hour battery that goes in the down tube here. And I forgot to mention, this is a folding bike. But the battery sits down the down tube, and this is the Psy Rusher battery that fit perfectly into the down tube. You just turn the key, this pops out here, and um, that's how you change the battery if you want to charge it, change it, whatever. And then your little port down here, of course, to charge it. You can either charge it on the bike or take it off the bike. And then, as I mentioned, it has um, front suspension on it right here. Um, now, I've noticed these do not have lockouts. So they've got the very, uh, I wouldn't call them cheap, but I'd call them inferior um, shocks on this. They seem to do a pretty good job for the suspension. But you can't lock these out either. There's no adjustment on those, so I'm not really fond about that either. Again, it's got mechanical brakes. And, um, and the name of the mechanical brakes is... Wuxing, W-X-I-N-G, I've never heard of them before. That's, that's new. It does have a Shimano um, six-speed twist shifter here, you might call it, which is kind of cool. I got that on one of my other bikes. And then, of so, course, everything tucks down into the um, down tube on down to your controller, and I'm sure the controller is right down in here. And... Yeah, and it's got your 20-inch by 4-inch fat tire bikes. Uh, these are Chow Yang, which is on my side rushers as well. So they're not Kendas or some of them better quality tires, but they're all right. And again, it's got the, um, the tourney derailleur. And uh, I haven't checked out the gears on this thing yet. And of course, the seat seems to be okay. I mean, it's smaller seat, but I have, I'm so used to riding now that um, they don't hurt my butt like they used to, so my, I'm getting used to that. And of course, it's uh, lift up and down on the seat post, which I'm gonna be changing that here in a second. Now, on the uh, folding part of this bike, you just release this lever here, pull this out, and this bike folds. So if you need to take it uh, on a, put it in a vehicle, take it on a trip or whatever, you can do that by folding it, and you can also take the front tire off. This is what they do have I like. They have this quick release on the uh, front tire, so that way if you want to take that tire off and uh, fold your bike or whatever to store it in an SUV or back seat of a truck, you, you'll be able to do all of that. And of course, you've got the folding area here uh, on the handlebar stem, and this will go up another probably six to eight inches. I don't have it all the way up. Um, but again, I mean, it's a good starter e-bike, you may want to call it. I know there's some channels out there don't like reviewing inferior bikes, they call them e-bikes. They turn them down when they check the, with them to review it. I'll review anything somebody will send me. Because there is a price point that people can only afford. And again, I think this one's $11.99 plus tax. Um, I don't know if they got any specials going on it right now, but I'll be checking all that out. Here's your guy shaking his head as he went by me here. And uh, I don't know what his problem is, but anyway. It's got a do, uh, it does have some nice headlights and taillights I'll show you here. Forgot about that. It's got a nice display up here. Uh, pedal assist, one through five, of course. Um, it's just got the bar showing you what it is. And then, of course, like I said, it shows you the voltage, 51.5. Um, and then, of course, other settings on here. I think this one, not sure what that one is. Without my glasses on, I can't see what it says. It could be current, C-U-R. Um, and then uh, this is how long it's been that I've been on the bike today, 44 minutes and 40 seconds. And then uh, 
I've come a total of 17 miles. I did ride this a little bit yesterday, but I didn't want to do a video on it yet. And so far I've come an 8.2 8 miles on it. And of course your bell that I told you about. I'm not fond of bells, I'd rather have a horn. Um, but yeah, let me turn on the headlights on. You just hold this upper button on. As you can see the display emblem come on for the headlights. And uh, yeah, I had it out in the dark last night and it's really bright. For a small little light and of course it's got your tail light that's wired and uh, it doesn't have brakes with it you know where it'll pulsate or anything like that on one like on one of my other bikes but it does have that so yeah it uh, overall I mean right tw twist throttle here uh, of course there's not much room on this cockpit as you notice I could put a bar out here and put a couple of these things out there but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it and uh, good handle grips on this very nicely done so that I like about the bike but yeah I guess on a scale of 1 to 10 I'll give this bike an 8 maybe an 8.5 for the style I don't like the kickstand because it is in the way of the pedals if you have that all the way down I don't like that part you would have to these are folding pedals which you know they're all right, but they are folding pedals. So you can fold these and like that and where you're not hitting the pedal. So anyway, that's a little bit about the Buzz Centris. Leave any comments down in the comments section, what you guys think about it. And then, uh, yeah, this is uh, my kind of my first ride on this. So anyway, uh, share and like and... Um, Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys on the next video.